Hey, this is Glenda with Freylands and Friends. Welcome to my house. I have got this. It is a tote full of junk that sits on our end table beside me every day. And it had a purpose to start with. And now its purpose seems to be junk. through this and it's like okay we may just mess up our lives a lot or sometimes but I'm going to get on a kick to organize and clean up but mm, my goodness okay I have my trash can here I'm not throwing it on the floor on your birthday, honey, I want you to know that every day with you is sweeter than the day before. And every year, my love for you grows more and more. Sounds like a song. Happy birthday with all my love. Love you, babe. He's always called me babe. Wishing you many more. I have... I don't remember which birthday this came from. It might have just been this last birthday. But isn't that, isn't that pretty? Oh, I know what this is. This is this is my collection of things that when people call, I will find whatever I can to write it on. <laughs> For information and everything. Good so is home. I made a CD of that. I wonder if it'll still play. I wonder. I made I my very first book was a homemade book. It was I called it Visions in Poetry. You know, you find out that no matter what you <laughs> what you title something, there's at least one or more of the same title. Uh, it's silly. But anyway, I'll have to see if that'll work in my CD-ROM because that's from an older computer. Tape deck. I got this tape deck because the pastor had some tapes. And, of course, I know everything's on everything else now, but what do you do with the tapes? <laughs> Every time they upgrade, you lose use of something else. Oh, these are some good headphones. Okay. I used to use these when Joe was trying to listen to something on TV. This now, now this is what I call my best organization. This little thing right here. It's got some uh, they hook into either your into your phone and then your UHC, which of course you don't have to really do it that way anymore, but I still kind of like to. <laughs> this is my little voice recorder. I've got some of my thumb drive things. I call them that anyway. I don't know what they call them now. That's what they call them when they first came out. Because you push them with your, you push the little jigger with your thumb. It's a thumb drive. So, anyway, now if I could organize everything like that box, I would be happy. Um, I think I used that on one of the puppets one time for a scarf or something. <laughs> I don't know what I could do with that. I just don't know. I don't know how they do the do-rags, do you? Yeah. This one is mine. It says G.K. Fraley. <laughs> now, see, if I could just do this kind of thing. There's more thumb drives. A bunch of them in here. 
and I need to find out what's on them. <laughs> but they've been buried in this in this box. Man, what's in this one? I'm trying to organize my my stuff, and maybe in the long run I can organize my life. Ah ha ha! They figured it out, and we don't owe any money. <laughs> Some business cards I ordered long, long ago. Owner, inner, oh, okay, for it's G.K. Fralin, owner, interviews, and author. And there's my, my, my blog page. Are you having fun watching me do this? Yeah, sure. Oh, and you know what? I got two tablets here. Neither one has been in use for a while. I always thought I'd get them out for the grandkids. One of them's got some scratches on the surface. I got a Kindle and a Next Book. I remember when Joe gave me this for Christmas about two or three years ago. And this was my very first one. And now I've got Kindle on my phone. It, something else will go out. This, I bought, the, this is an interesting box, I gotta tell you. I bought these, and they cost a pretty penny. They're actually a phone. You know, like for your cell phone. How's that? What is wrong here? My head is not very big, and they can't be. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> I don't you haven't used them in all this time because I couldn't figure it out. And my granddaughter was over here a couple weeks or so ago and showed me how it would work. Now I probably will never use them anyway. Forty-three years. It, this one I don't think I'll get rid of because this is the cutest one I ever got from him. I don't know if you're expecting flowers for Mother's Day. Oh, this is a Mother's Day. But I'm planning to plant one on you. <laughs> it's cute. You open it up and he pops out with this kiss. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to the one I love. I'm not going to say how he signed that. Got this in my stocking a few years ago, and I keep looking for it. Never find it, and it's always in this thing. I just got to look farther back. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. I'm a little reindeer. So, as I clean up my junk, hopefully, that can serve as a metaphor for cleaning up our lives because sometimes we let our lives get in a big, big mess. Sometimes other people contribute to that in a big way. So lesson to me and maybe to you is sometimes we need to clean us up. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes we do need to clean us up. And that means like if if I start getting all muddled with racing thoughts again or with a severe depression which I haven't been for quite a while if it goes more than two days and I'm feeling really really bad I need to go get counseling but I haven't had to do that in a long time 
but our, me our, our lives can get messy just around us, not, not things, but just our lives, you know, just with the in and out of the, of, you know, the people we let run through our life, and, and that is something, you know, to say about allowing it. We, we can have our boundaries. And, yeah. So I, you know, I'm just saying, I want to keep a uh, keep the mental clutter as well as start cleaning up my own messy clutter like this. Subscribe. Click the notification bell. Give us a thumbs up. So I'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Have a good night. And do take care of yourself. I love you. And smile and wave. And come back tomorrow. Comment below. I'll, I'll write something down there and you can comment. But what I'm thinking right now is... Do you... You don't have to say what, but... Do you have something in your mind that is cluttering your, or a person that's cluttering your life right now and I don't mean like my husband I mean you know like do I have a nasty neighbor that I'm allowing to get to me and that I shouldn't because hey let them have their room and I'll just be <laughs> I don't have any nasty neighbors thank goodness I have had nasty neighbors in the past just not here so we'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys.